15 plus innings and I uh, thought we took a you know a little bit of a shortened staff and really competed really well and you know it was just a base hit away from went in the area with the guys that were out there and very similar to the game with the Blue Sox where we only took a handful of guys up that needed some work and uh, those guys fought like crazy. So am I expecting the same thing out of them this week? It's a long week. It's going to take every person on the staff to, um, you know, for us to go deep in this tournament. It's going to be some tremendous talent here and, you know, right now Carson Boober's dinged up from that uh, from that tune-up game with, with the Blue Sox. So, you know, he's he's questionable and, um, yeah, that that's going to create another uh, situation where we got to have the next man up again this year. With that being said, I guess kind of what's your confidence level with the guys that you do have going into this tournament? Oh, tremendous. I mean, you know, uh, Jet Gross threw a heck of a game up there against the Blue Sox, and, uh, you know, Jacob Blauser's come on, and we've seen him throw. You know, he was on a 40, 50 pitch count there up at the Casary through a couple of really nice innings. Um, you know, some guys we don't talk about all the time with Rupenthal. And, um, I mean, you know, there's just so, so many fellows in there. You're going to see, you know, Connor Chancy and Jason Myers, who was away last week on their senior trip, you know, come back in and contribute. And I think you're going to start to see the real depth of this team as we, uh, as, as we navigate this tournament. Trip, who do you see as the, the biggest challengers? Yeah, from, in terms of the other teams in this tournament when it comes to you guys trying to repeat as the champions here? Well, I mean, you know, the other seven teams. <laughs> uh, you know, whoever we're, we're against that day, you, you see, uh, you know, Willsburg knocked off, you know, Willsburg had just a handful of wins this year, and they got hot there at the end and knocked off Parkersburg, and everybody thought that was going to be the, you know, the, the biggest story of the tournament. But then you turn around and see... Uh, Post 65 knockoff, uh, you know, Charleston post 65 knockoff, the, the big Beckley team down in, uh, down in that area. So, you know, you know, then you've got South Charleston who's, you know, we've won and won against them last year in the state tournament, two one run games. And of course, Morgantown, as you know, you've discovered their games, seen us play those games and they play us, you know, they match up to us really, really well. They're deep. Wheeling is all, you know, Wheeling and Bridgeport always bring great teams. Um, I think it's going to be. I think it's wide open. I mean, certainly, certainly Morgantown is one of our um, top competitive teams. We have to we have to um, deal with you know the very first night, and you know, uh, post fourteen South Charleston and um, Morgantown all being that bottom bracket is it's just going to be a tough road for whoever to come out of that bracket to face those top four teams in the top of that bracket with uh, Wheeling and Bridgeport and Summit Valley and uh, and. Uh, I think, I think post uh, 65s up there as well. So um, it's going to be a great tournament. I um, mean, yeah, I look for some upsets. I look for some, uh, you know, teams to maybe try to get by a team with a lesser pitcher and maybe get a surprise here and there. But um, you know, that's what makes it real fun this time of year is a strategy and your best nine on the field and uh, you know, trying to uh, keep arms and and you know. My dad used to call it counting beans. You just go in there and count pitches, just counting beans, one pitch, two pitch. How many pitches are we going to go? You know, just, <laughs> sometimes you make some strange decisions based on pitch counts that uh, backfire, and other times they make you like a genius. So it's going to be some strategy uh, here. There's going to be a lot of talent here. But, you know, I think, you know, going in, you have to think that South Charleston and, and um, you know, Morgantown are the top team, certainly Summit Valley out of our area. And then we didn't play area one a whole lot, so I can't, can't say a lot about them, but I just know they always bring a lot of teams down here from that Wheeling, Parkersburg, you know, um, uh, Wellsburg area up there. And Tripp, you guys are hosting the tournament this year. Um, games we played at P.O. Faulkner Park. If people want to come out, how much to get in? And then also, what are some of the plans, I guess, for the players and the teams coming down here? Oh, well, first off, the admission is, you know, it's $10 for the whole day. So if you pay $10 for a 10 o'clock game, you get to see, you know, four games. Um, um, you know, it's $30 for the week if you just want to buy a week pass. Um, so that would get you in for five, you know, every game for, for the five straight days. That's the admission. T-shirts, programs will be on sale with it, you know, some memorabilia for the, the tournament. But, um, um, you know, it's going to be a fun tournament, announcers, music, uh, concessions. It's just going to have a really, you know, hopefully we can, create sort of a minor league feel here as we've tried to create a minor league park here. So let's try to create that atmosphere. As far as what's on tap for the kids uh, today, we're going to, we're going to the Sycamore, uh, Jimmy Van Meter and Jackie and, and Todd and the crew down there at the uh, Van Meter nine and Sycamore have, uh, 
and uh, had uh, decided they would help host us down there. So we're going to take 160 plus people down there, and they're going to feed us and we're going to have a small banquet and give out some trophies and some plaques and uh, and speak a little bit about the tournament and maybe have a longest drive and a longest putt contest and uh, you know with the kids. So hopefully they can start off on the right foot and everybody enjoy today and get acclimated here in Martinsburg and our city is a. Uh, shows them some hospitality, and then tomorrow it's, uh, you know, it's going to be on. Who are some other uh, businesses, organizations, or community members that chipped in to help make this possible? (laughs) I know there's been a lot, and you put a list out on Facebook. Maybe that can be your cheat sheet here. I'll give you some more time uh, (laughs) filling here on air for you to potentially get that out if you need. I certainly want to give out some big shout outs to the Sycamore for what they've done, you know, with us and helped us out. And Jimmy and Jackie Van Meter down in the, in the, in the Van Meter Nine. Hope things, uh, hope that hope their uh, investment into this tournament uh, brings you know, dividends to them in, in the end. But you know, can't can't leave out Mike Hornby and all that he's done as far as you know, you guys, what you guys done to the tournament and what he did behind the scenes and, and all the places him and I visited and, and the buttons that we pushed and he helped us out with the CVB and. Uh, just a tremendous uh, uh, asset to our community getting us here, and we appreciate TV10, WRNR Talk Radio, and and uh, appreciate Mike and Crusha and what what they've done to make sure that uh, not only today, not only what you bringing this team here, but when you come look at this field, I mean he he has he has been a big part of that as well as Crusha and, and you guys. So um, just this huge thank to them. But um, you know, big contributors. A lot of people won't know about is one of our biggest contributors to the tournament was CMC, which is a concrete company that bought in down in the Dupont area, and they're creating a a, uh, a, 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 a con- excuse me, not concrete uh, <laughs> rebar company down there that they're making metal out of uh, uh, from recycled materials. So bringing jobs to the area, and uh, uh, you know, Travis Gesper, Dr. Queen. My dad's catering company, Tobin's Catering, been involved in that, and uh, just so, so many people redistributing, and they're, they're going to be bringing out their their loop water, uh, which is a product of theirs. Uh, Dr. Cincinnati out there, and and, uh, and and his partner at Tri-State Surgical were, were really big in this. Uh, Don Pinnell, help me out here. You got the list. My Kathy and Travis Tobin, and uh, John, John Mason. Um, uh, just so so many to uh, to thank on there, um, and uh, who am I missing there? Plenty of people. My dad and my my wife and my sister have been tremendous in this. I mean, my sister has been such so good with the administrative part of all these motels and you know stipending these young men. And my wife and her have been writing grants that uh, you know that, that allowed us to get some of this money and. Just a lot, a lot of participation. Eddie Goganer, you know, rode me down to the um, the CMF uh, plant. We did a, a tour and ultimately got a great sponsorship from those guys down there. And um, Mayor Knowles was a big part of you know getting getting this and the and the down the, excuse me down at the meeting at the CVB and uh, just uh, HD Boyd. I mean, so many people uh, that didn't act. You know, maybe they didn't. I write a check, but they were huge investors in this as far as their time and, and, and believing in us and, and getting the word out and getting the word out to Roach Oil, uh, Roach Energy. Um, you know, I'm just kind of throwing out names as they hit me now. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to go down the list and check off the ones that yeah, you've already you said. More? But clearly, the community <laughs> definitely stepped up to uh, help out here. Yeah, yeah. Don't let me leave nobody out. Did I get them off? Uh, I think so, and if not, our apologies to them, but as we said, it's on Facebook, and I haven't, it'll be in the program throughout the tournament as well. Yes, I haven't gotten my check from Nick yet, but he, he said he was giving us some money, so I guess he'll bring it to the broadcast tomorrow. But I appreciate that, Nick. News <laughs> <laughs> to me. Uh, all right. Yeah, I mean, it's been a huge endeavor for the community, and they stepped up. How about we just put it that way? You know, all, all, all together, not just uh, not just our elected officials who, who pushed for this to happen here. It doesn't happen without those guys starting, you know, to put this field uh, and making this facility that, that can even host a tournament like this. I mean, this is basically a high school facility, and it, it's going to host, you know, one of the biggest tournaments in the state. And it started a long time ago with a dream, and... Um, so many people. Jason Barrett has been huge in this. Uh, you know, um, uh, just as you know, the, the county council and uh, Mike Height and uh, 
gotten forced or just been, I'm going to miss some people, but uh, so many people that helped out here uh, to get this to where it's at. And Margaret Baseball Boosters uh, um, partnering up with us has, has been a huge thing. And I know it's not easy to bring, you know, kids in from other schools onto your field and, and get better and compete against them in the spring. But I think all in all, it, they have understood that it's this huge asset uh, to EPAC baseball and to their program and, and to uh, to our kids that are, you know, being seen and and uh, and, and not just here at Martinsburg, but, but across the other six schools here that we deal with. And those guys are going off to college. It's, it's just kind of a dream come true culminating to this point. That was a lot to say, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the time, and uh, best of luck this weekend, and hopefully you guys are able to win the state championship, but we'll uh, have coverage of every game. All right, I appreciate you.